Okay, so I need to introduce the next group. And uh, John Schneider has um, in the chat uh, indicated that perhaps the names I'm about to say need to be said with all caps. So please take what I'm about to say with all caps, the latest and greatest managing a Sakai version upgrade from Sarah, Hannah, Mike, and Oliver. Take it away. The screen shared for you. By the way, these good folks are from Loyola. Yep. Welcome to our lightning talk about managing a Sakai version upgrade. We are from Loyola University of Chicago. I am Mike and I'm joined by Hannah, Oliver, and Sarah. Uh, just to give you some context on where we started, we adopted Sakai version 10 in 2012 and upgraded to version 11 in 2017, then to version 12 in 2018. Due to COVID and a staffing overhaul, we uh, put a pause on our upgrade cycle until 2020. Uh, we were still on version 12, which was considered legacy at the time. In June 2020, we began a six month upgrade process to get up to date. We are currently on version 21, and this December we'll be upgrading to version 22. Here are a few checkpoints that we followed to ensure a smooth upgrade. Starting in July 2021, we received the proper committee approvals for us to start taking our first steps in the upgrade. In August, we upgraded our development instance to start testing and validating new features. In November, we aimed to complete the user documentation. December, we started pushing out promotional media with, uh, for the upcoming upgrade. And finally, in January, we completed all of our information sessions to faculty and students. Of course, with all big projects, not everything goes as planned. So this picture is a more realistic timeline of what happens. So for the next section, I'm gonna pass it off to Sarah. All right, thanks, Mike. Can everyone hear me okay? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm a big blue button newbie. Um, I cannot match uh, Mike's enthusiasm and great narration voice, but I'll do my best. Uh, so our first takeaway from our upgrade process is to start early and take smart shortcuts where you can. Um, so the first kind of mini lesson in that is to expect the unexpected, which obviously uh, is a little bit of a conundrum. Um, but you should expect that your team will face some unforeseen hurdles in the process. So these may be changes to staffing, uh, loss of resources, or unforeseen technical issues. Um, so a few examples in our upgrade to version 21 last year, uh, we had one specific team member who really pushed for the adoption of the contrib tool certification, which we had not had up to that point. Um, this team member then departed Loyola mid-upgrade, uh, unfortunately did not leave the remaining team members with the knowledge and artifacts to sort of seamlessly resume testing and promotion of this tool. Um, so the point here is not to drag my dear colleague who left us for a great opportunity, but to suggest that all team members involved in the upgrade should have a pulse on uh, what your colleagues are working on, because you may be called upon to support or fill in for them. Uh, and so on that same note, um, we often expect that our tools, especially our LTI tools, will function similarly from one Sakai version to the next. Um, you know, generally this has worked very well, but it's not always the case. Uh, so again, in our upgraded version 21, we were unable to import common cartridge files for Labster, uh, which is a virtual science lab product that we were in the middle of a year long license for. Um, so this required extensive troubleshooting both with the vendor um, and our folks at Longsight. We eventually did resolve it, but obviously this ate up a lot of time. Uh, these are both good segues to the next sort of mini lesson, which is to start early. Um, so the work involved in upgrading your Sakai instance will almost certainly take longer than you anticipate. Uh, so start earlier than you think you need to. Um, this is especially true for us in the case of user documentation. This is the most time consuming component uh, at Loyola, at least. So year after year now, we find ourselves scrambling to finish our documentation right down to the wire. Um, especially consider if you're adopting new tools in your upgrades, such as conversations or dashboard, uh, anticipate additional time to draft and then thoroughly review those support materials. Uh, and then the last sort of mini lesson um, under starting early and taking shortcuts is to not reinvent the wheel if you don't have to. Um, so your organization can borrow some assets from your Sakai service provider. So for instance, when we upgraded from 12 to 20, this was quite a leap. Um, obviously we were a few years behind. So if we just tried to update our Sakai 12 documentation, it would be 
a huge amount of work um, and we would certainly overlook a lot of new features. So we started with the Sakai community documentation as the base for customization. Um, and because Loyola uses screen steps, that's the same technology that powers the Sakai community documentation, uh, our friends at Longsite let us copy their documentation right into our own site. Uh, likewise, if your organization settles into this sort of regular upgrade cycle like we do, um, maybe annually, you can reuse and repurpose other assets uh, like project management documents, slide deck templates, um, your web pages, uh, and more. So you don't have to do this from scratch every year. Okay, and with that, I will hand it over to my colleague Oliver to talk about communication strategies. Thanks, Dara. Okay, so the second big takeaway is focused communication. And uh, importantly, within that, Communication, training, and promotion to user community should focus on what is new and different, uh, not a comprehensive review of all of Sakai functionality, as much as we're tempted to do that to get people to attend uh, these sessions. All right, um, first of all, uh, yeah, think about the stakeholders. Uh, target your trainings, like we're doing sessions called uh, What's New in Sakai 22 for faculty and for students, uh, based on user role, which uh, we found to be very important um, because not everybody's going to need the same thing or have the same experience uh, using these. And now uh, also, despite you could offer many trainings, uh, a long series of all of them, but it is important to uh, still uh, anticipate that some users will not pay attention. Um, and with that in mind, consider preparing templated responses to questions that you anticipate and concerns. Uh, for example, and uh, this is a big one, and I'm sure others can speak to this too, but uh, a lot of faculty were alarmed that the forums tool wasn't available in Sakai 21, but were quickly reassured that the tool was simply renamed uh, <laughs> discussions. Um, and lastly, uh, provide information and promotion in a variety of formats. Uh, different info sessions, like I mentioned, provide an early invitation for select users, send mass emails to the entire campus community, uh, make a promotional video and post on social media. And I see that we're a little short on time, but uh, I'm gonna pass it over to my uh, colleague, Hannah. Hello, I hope y'all can hear me. I'm going to start with a haiku just to accept the challenge. Task management tech available for tracking progress across team, meaning use free apps when possible, such as Asano, which we've used here to get a bird's eye view and also communicate within our team what tasks are outstanding and also what tasks need to be done and to share the assignments with our teammates. Um, when it comes to project management, we really like to think about our meeting time being in high demand always in this age of being able to virtually meet. Um, sometimes synchronous meetings can certainly be an email or meetings should be reserved for time that actually is needed to work together. Thank you. And at a little bit after the buzzer, we'll pass it back to the dulcet tones of Martin Ramsey. Who will remember to turn on his uh, his his uh, microphone? And there, I, I hope you all have been following the chat. There's been lots of good uh, discussions back and forth. And yes, you all did amazing of handing it off one to another. And and welcome to uh, some of the later versions of Sakai. I was following along with you, thinking, oh yes, I remember the days. So good for you. Well done. <laughs> 